one of the primary problems or challenges you face if you're looking to make a transition from mechanical engineering, software engineering, or electronics engineering towards robotic software development is that of a, that of lack of a well-defined systematic project-based and personalized roadmap. In order to alleviate this problem, I've actually created a new GPT on chatgpt.com called Robotics Curriculum Builder GPT. Now, without wasting any further time, let's go ahead and have a look at this GPT and see how this can help you make a transition to robotic software engineering in the most simpler, in the simplest ma possible manner. So I'll just go to chatgpt.com. So if I go to chatgpt.com, then I would need to explore GPTs. Once I click on explore GPTs, I would be able to see this screen and I would just need to look for robotics curriculum builder. And I'll find robotics curriculum builder and I would simply start chat and I would click on build my personalized curriculum now. Now, after that, I just have to follow the instructions that the person, the, the robotics curriculum builder GPT would give me. Please upload your updated CV for me to get a sense of your current profile and skill set. So it basically needs to get the sense of your current experience, your current background, whether it's mechanical engineering, software, electronics, or non-engineering background, and then it would analyze the CV and ask you for your primary goal. Now, I would just mention that I want to work as a robotics software engineer in the perception domain or maybe in the controls domain because in my current profile I've already have been working as a computer vision engineering so in this scenario it's basically me trying to make a transition from vision to control engineering within robotics and let's see how the plan how good the plan generated would be so it asks me how much time i have available since i have a full-time job maybe i would say 10 hours per week if i say five hours on saturdays and five hours on uh, sundays so what are your topics of interest so i would just say i'm interested in control so i would just say optimal control pid control and uh, and just general control theory, I guess maybe I'll just mention some specific keywords such as model predictive controls, etc. So I don't need to give too much details because the GPT curriculum builder, the curriculum builder GPT has to provide me with the details. So I say, okay, I have worked with Git before and it would analyze my current skill set, identify gaps in my current skill set based on the CV and uh, what needs to be done to become a robotics control in engineer. Uh, generating this skill set cultivation plan, skill set cultivation plan is included in my curriculum and it has identified my niche, which was simple in this case, because I said I want to work as a robotic software engineer in the controls domain. And then it would just give me details about my current profile, my education, my work experience, my skill set and so on. And it mentions my niche, which is robotic software engineering in the controls domain. My skills at cultivation plan, it says you're missing knowledge in essential control specific libraries and frameworks such as Kasadi and Drake, along with a deeper understanding of model predictive control and optimal control, which is, uh, which is true because I mentioned that I'm interested in this and uh, based on my CV, it only sees experiences in PyTorch, TensorFlow, and machine learning and computer vision libraries. So this is accurate and spot on. Now it would also give me a skill develop, uh, it would give me a domain mastery plan after the skill development plan. And there are also links to resources for these plans. So courses, YouTube videos, and so on. Some of these links might not work as well because of uh, the limitations within GPT-4, but a lot of links would work and it would still give you a good direction of what topics to uh, gain uh, to improve your fundamental skills uh, in. So domain mastery plan is PID control implementation on a mobile robot. So a slightly simple project using C++ and ROS and then another project for path planning, model predictive control for path planning using Kasadi and 
path learning algorithms, ROS integration, and also a few links. So this link does not seem to work. Uh, if I can just randomly try to check out some of the links, or so some of the links would work, and some of the links would not work. So unfortunately, this link would not work as well. So what I've noticed is that a lot of YouTube links that it generates uh, is uh, they do not work. Uh, but a lot of other links can work and uh, optimal control for robotic uh, manipulation. So it gives me three projects of progressively increasing difficulty. And this is exactly how I designed uh, the GPT. This is uh, uh, why, because uh, this is because once you know your niche, you just need to build a simple project first, but then a slightly difficult project and then a more difficult project. So the first three to six months will focus on skill development and niche discovery. Uh, and then after that, three to six months will focus on domain mastery. So overall, the plan looks good, although some of the links are not working or most of the links are not working. But that is, I think, generally the case. But it would still give you a direction in terms of what are the tools that you need to uh, gain skills in. So let's look at another scenario which would be slightly different where my niche is not clear so i would again go ahead and upload my cv here and i would press enter and i would wait for it to prompt me so it again summarizes my experience uh, to basically let me verify that it scanned everything correctly from my cv It gives me my technical skill set in different in different tools, different libraries and frameworks I've worked with, different programming languages I've experienced with. So of course, I have mentioned Python and C++ also in my technical skill set in my CV. And if you do not have programming experience, maybe you just have SolidWorks or other mechanical or electronics engineering related tools, then it would also add Python uh, or C++ in your uh, skill development plan. So what is your primary goal? Now this time maybe I would say, I want to work within robotics, software, engineering. I'm not sure which domain or niche I want to work in. How much time do I have available? Maybe I would say 20 hours per week this time. And what are your topics of interest? So I would just mention Maybe computer vision, maybe some uh, actually more specific object detection, 3D reconstruction, pose estimation and things like that, or visual slam, so I'm just randomly or maybe even general uh, grasp estimation graph stability estimation maybe i can write this so general machine learning and computer vision related topics are what i'm mentioning and let's see what it actually generates have you worked with git now maybe i'll mention no here in this case and it would again analyze my skills let's wait for it to generate the new curriculum so here it starts your niche niche is not clear uh, you're missing git skills because i mentioned no and then it gives me some resources for git which are actually working they come in by wix actually good resources so the free code camp git and github crash course which is also something that i would recommend another git Crash course, Git tutorial for beginners. This is also another good resource, Git for everybody. So here in this case, actually all of the links worked. And this is really good because all of these resources that it shared are actually beginner friendly. So I think this one is a playlist probably. And the others are more crash course or tutorial uh, style videos. And then it also gave me a niche discovery plan. So mini project in perception, Object detection and classification, OpenCV, Python, TensorFlow, convolutional neural networks, all these, and a lot of resources actually in the, uh, of difficulty level 
uh, one so the project is of difficulty level one and then I click on the link and again I think most of the project related links do not work but some links work so this one is actually official tensorflow repository here um, Kaggle tutorial also does not seem to work and then a mini project in planning path planning using RRTs um, then there is a reinforcement learning for autonomous driving queue learning policy gradient based and some of the resources here introduction to reinforcement learning so it actually recommended a really good uh, resource or a popular resource with 1.4 million views and it, this is a good lecture series on reinforcement learning by David Silver so I would not open all of the resources but it does recommend a lot of good resources as well when it does sometimes of course it does not uh, it, it gives faulty links to resources so mini project in control is PID control for robot arm so it gave me four mini projects and this is exactly how I wanted the curriculum to look like because even though I mentioned my interest to be these computer vision topics I also said that I'm not really I don't really know what my niche is and I mentioned some computer vision projects maybe just because I only explored that and it gave it gave me four simple projects, four mini projects in four different domains of robotics that would give me the exposure to really help me identify which domain I want to work in. Maybe it is, maybe after doing a planning project, I realized that I like more motion planning or this is something that is more interesting to me than computer vision. So coming back to this now, some resources might be non-functional okay this is some uh, this is just a note that i added to make it clear and then first three to six months is fo are focused on skill development and the last three to six months are um, focused on identifying the niche now let's add a twist here let's say actually i do not know c plus plus and i I did the mini projects and now I know my niche. My niche is, let's say in this case, machine learning engineer. Can you update the plan? So let's see, so it would again create the plan from scratch with listing down my experience. And let's wait again for it to finish this portion. And then it identified my niche as machine learning engineer because I mentioned it. I have identified my niche. So this is uh, so it gives me a skill set cultivation plan. Now it gave me you're missing Git essentials for robotics software engineering. Here is your skill development plan. So Git remains there. And then project one supervised learning for object detection so this time it gave me a domain mastery plan now previously it gave me this plan on uh, discovering my niche where i would do four simple mini projects of one star difficulty each that would last for a couple of weeks maximum and now it gave me slightly longer projects uh, in the machine learning domain so Difficulty level of two star supervised learning for object detection, then reinforcement learning for autonomous navigation and advanced anomaly detection using auto encoders. So this looks pretty comprehensive and it also has a lot of resources, some of which work, some of which do not work, but it still gives um, a good hint as to how to really make that transition. What I noticed is that it did not give me C++ skill set cultivation plan so I'll try to prompt it a bit otherwise I would update this slightly after this but more or less this curriculum builder would give a really good domain mastery plan and a niche development plan so I actually do not know enough C++ can you also add a C++ skill development plan in my skill cultivation in the skill cultivation section so i would mention it and i would i'm not sure if it would really generate it 
but if it would not then that's fine uh, because i would just need to update the prompts uh, and update the curriculum builder which would be uh, not that time consuming to do so again it summarizes what i'm expecting this time is that it would give me c++ cult uh, skill cultivation plan and it gave me it uh, this time so obviously gpt is not uh, absolutely perfect and that is why these tools are also not perfect but it gave me a really good resource again from free code camp c++ tutorial for beginners c++ crash course for cow for and this so it really million von menschen working links this time from the new boston uh, and some other resources and then it continued with the other domain mastery plan so to summarize it really is a good way to create a curriculum for yourself and really overcome procrastination to start learning robotics software engineering in a project based step by step manner um, and in a manner that is suitable and personalized towards your individualized towards your um, learning goals towards your interests and career direction so hopefully this helps and lastly i'd like to mention that i have also created a course which most of you probably know about uh, the course is titled become a self taught robotics software engineer and if you are really serious about making a transition i actually highly recommend you to check that out and if you would rather look at the free resources i have also provided free resources on this youtube channel so you can go ahead and look at the video titled um, become a self taught robotic software engineer step by step guide that is a, a simpler version of the course in the course i go in detail and really guide you with lots of quizzes and activities to really help you make that transition so for those of you who are serious and who have the time to invest to learn robotics i do recommend you check that out for those of you who are still starting and who still do not know if they want to explore it first check out my free videos and really try to gain as much value as you can build some projects and when you are really serious then you can go ahead and look at the course so that's it for this video i wish you all the best on your learning journey